attention, please. Court with the strike of a gavel, 4D Court is now in session. Associate Judge Ken Law presides over another day of cases dealing with child support and custody. And if he doesn't like what he hears, people might have to fork over a hefty sum. I find a judgment against you for unpaid child support in the amount of $5,462. Now, Ken's not a man who hesitates when it's time to drop the hammer. And you understand if you don't, you'll be going to jail. And that's true even when he steps out from behind the bench. All right, we're in here. Sometimes I get to see people at their worst. And so when I come home, I can't bring that home with me. And the best thing for me to do is to dive back there into my workshop and start working on one of these sculptures. After work, Ken is whisked away into a world of crafting creatures from cutlery. His workshop looks across between a restaurant supply store and a wedding registry. And once he has an idea for that next piece, it's full steam ahead. These take quite a long time. One of these will have around 300 fork heads in it and takes about 40 hours to do. I just get lost in it and uh, time passes and you just don't think about anything else. I try to use all uh, stainless steel knives, forks, and spoons. This is for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Ken's had a love of recreating the world around him since he took art classes at the age of six, but unlike his artistic family, he never found his calling in pencil or paint. Instead, he wanted to take a stab at welding, and a break from the bench gave him time to take some courses. Well, it wasn't long before he was spoon-feeding a hobby turned obsession. <laughs> I got interested in just taking loose parts and making something out of them and uh, realized that it was, uh, it was really a lot of fun. Every detail is obsessed over in Ken's creations. Forks become hair, spoons become scales, even knives play a role as feathers. I try really hard to make them uh, have a bit of a personality and try to have a bit of motion to them so that they They'll kind of draw something out of you. When Ken Law asks for a fork, it might not be for what you think. He finds the inspirations for his sculptures in nature and kitchen drawers and spends countless hours bringing flatware to life. His only problem now is finding a stopping point. I'm amazed at how when you put them together, the creature emerges. And even the detail, when you flip it over there and you see his belly. I mean... And the bottom sides of his feet. I mean, there, there's no detail that you've left out. Well, I try to be as, as accurate as I possibly can. Right here, I can see four or five things wrong with it. You can see things wrong. Oh yeah. Here. oh, yeah. I'm not going to tell you what they are, but I can see things that I would like to go back and redo. They never feel like they're finished. You know, I keep thinking about how angry my mother would get if ever I borrowed a piece out of the silverware drawer. Mm -hmm. He'd be in a lot of trouble, huh? But don't judge him. I see what you did there. Now, here's some stuff you may want to know about. It's time to start thinking about the holidays, and we have the perfect 